It feels very likely that this would be a good move to check. He might <clears throat> he might dive inside. Or he might push up. If he pushes up capture, capture, and retreat. Seems fairly strong. <clears throat> but it's not quite ripe enough yet. I think after castling, that's even stronger. But although now he has a chance of coming here, which is just fine. Yeah, in fact, I want him to do that because then he has no choice but to move this up. And then it goes to capture, capture. Maybe stay here even. Okay, he's preventing it. Yeah. Okay, that was... That was unfortunate. Yeah, I should have accounted for that. <clears throat> I did account for it, I just forgot that I did. All right, so now now the plan doesn't work anymore. Okay, so we got to change our plans. That one single move has uh, drastically altered the complexion of the position. Where can I move this knight? That's another question to ask myself. I'm going to start with king in here because now it's increasingly likely that he's not going to push that pawn forward in which case I might have to move my rook here and play c4 c5 as an idea with the knight on a4 possibly Yeah, I should have played the check first. I was greedy by castling. I was greedy and I I wanted to gain material of some kind. I wanted to lure. I was hoping on a blunder. Blunder. It's mini blunder. But I was not forcing the action and I allowed him to uh, to stop my move. I didn't account for the fact that he might be able to stop it. Or rather, better said, I did account for it. I was just crossing my fingers that he wouldn't. So what do I want to do on this kind of a position strategically? What do I what would I love to see happen? I think there is some part of me that really would love to break this open 
but currently I, I feel like I shouldn't do that because it allows his knight to come here. So let me calculate what if you just do it anyway. And actually that gets to some pretty exciting chess. Yeah. Don't be scared of doing it. I mean, although you see he does get his knight into a good position, maybe it's, it's fine. Maybe it's worth it to do that anyway. So I might even switch my plans here. Instead of the whole c4, c5 thing, I might continue with f4. The whole rook c1, knight a4, c4, c5. It's too many moves. This one just happens right away. The knight's already in position. And... Maybe queen here first. Nah. He'll just kick it back with knight to h7, probably. It's a slightly risky move. I should think about it a little bit further, f4. Because his knight comes here and he does eventually get the possibility to play f5. Okay, well now I think my hand is forced. I don't have to even worry about knight to g4 anymore. So let me just go straight ahead. The bad news is he can capture, capture, and his knight gets a fairly good square here. Well, it's actually a really good square for that knight. Okay, so he's... He's really blasting open the position here. Which shouldn't be a safe thing to do. Considering where his king is and the fact that he won't be able to castle queen side easily because the queen's in the middle. So he is going to end up with his king out there or there. And that means these rooks need to get into the action and they need to get into the action fast. So how do we do that though? The time is ripe to swoop in. But any move you make, especially this one, encourages the uh, freeing up of the air around the king, which, which is our main commodity right now. 
I think bishop here is good because I'm clearing up the path for this rook here or here wherever and this pawn is secure enough no matter what and I'm putting some pressure on these pawns over here that's the structure which I'm, I'm aiming for mainly I don't want to aim for this structure because as I just said earlier his knight will come here and that might enable his king to escape I think hmm, I might even consider rook here, but I'm not sure. Yeah, there isn't anything. <clears throat> particularly like there is no killer blow here but there's a lot of potential stuff going on and now I got an interesting idea of knight takes here because if he captures there then you come here with check he captures check and then your queen takes us so that's an idea but can he stop it can he just simply do something else something smarter yeah he can move his king up if he does you can capture that uh, other pawn Yeah, I quite like it, but let's think <clears throat> a little bit further. What if he doesn't take the pawn? What if he does something else? Well, it's still good because your knight can hop to g5 and yeah. So all signs seem to be pointing to it as a pretty good move here. I'm going to play it. I'm sure it's a bit of a surprise move for him. He was probably expecting bishop takes. But bishop takes, well, the threat on that is not so strong. Or at least not quick. <clears throat> he would be able to get his rook there in time or his king there in time. So that pawn is, is almost like a decoy. I shouldn't hit for it too hard. <clears throat> 